What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mass Effect. We are here with Atticus, Liara, and Ash, and we are in flux on the Citadel. There are a few things I want to take care of here, and then we're going to head off to Pharos. Let's just go ahead and get started. There was a gentleman that got thrown the hell out of the bar out here. And wait. said there has been an increase in violent crimes in this area lately. Did he say why? No, he kind of skirted the issue. It's those damn humans, if you ask me. They're not all bad, they're just different, mostly. I don't like them. They all act like they've been living here forever. The Citadel is ours. The Citadel can be everybody's friend. So, loading into the episode here, I was listening to the sounds of Flux, and it was brought up about... If you actually listen to the sounds in the bar, you can hear an alien language going off, and I do. You can kind of hear it. Well, not right now. You hear it? It's kind of like we, we can't really understand what's saying. So that basically is saying that Shepard don't really have his, what, the computer translator thing going on, so we can't understand the alien languages that are being said here. That is so cool. Little hey, details. To see another human in here. Anyways, let's go talk to the shells. Man, you got thrown out right on your ass. Yeah, what is it? You cheated? What happened? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. But you were cheating, were you not? I was just tipping the scales in my favor. Only as an experiment. Only tipping the scales in my favor. That's a pretty way of saying I was cheating. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Just play the game, so why do it? Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Isn't that still cheating? Well, it probably is still cheating. How will it work? Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. What? So I'm gonna make a cheating device, and I'm not gonna use it myself, but I'm gonna use it now. And then I won't ever use it again, I'll just sell it to others. Man. Does the device help me win? So the device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. Yeah, just sell it as it is. Why don't you just sell the device then? What? No. This device is archaic. It uses brute force to achieve its goal. Besides, you saw how easily it was detected. My system, when it's complete, will be far more efficient and completely undetectable. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. I won't help you cheat. Let me do it. Should we just get the device? Let's just get the device and then turn his ass in, huh? I'll help you out. Huh. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Well, off you go. That data won't collect itself. Data won't collect itself, huh? Alright, Shells the Gambler. A quirky Solarian named Shells was thrown out on his ass of Flux for cheating at the gambling machines. He says he wasn't actually cheating, he was just gathering data to create a cheating system. What could be wrong with that? What can be wrong with that? Let's go cheat and then turn it in. Can we do that? <laughs> Let's go. You hear the noises? You can kind of hear it a little bit. We're going high stakes, baby. Scoot on over. Let me in. Play Quasar, sure. We're gonna win it up, friends. Four to seven or one to eight. Let's do four to seven. Sixteen? Oh. There we go. Play again. We only had to record a few wins. As long as we get it in the green, we're good, yeah? That seems to be the play here. But it looks like it's kind of like blackjack. You get the 20 or 21, and then you win. Four to seven. 
Let's do four to seven. There we go. Don't often see someone getting as lucky as you. Don't worry about me. I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm just good at this game. Was that Durin? 1-8, let's play out. Did that count? I don't think it counted. We pro- oh. We probably didn't win too much of nothing right there with the yellow. We could have went higher, but I didn't really want to. It was kind of scary, you know? Damn. If we do this, we'll bust. There's no way we'll get... Let's just try it. Totally busted. We're gonna lose all it. This damn machine doesn't work. Whatever the hell it is. It ain't no cheating device. Maybe we should just give it back to him. Yeah, your machine worked, I think. 17 again? My ass, this machine doesn't work, or whatever it is, this device. Let's do... 1-8. Sure, why not? Does Is it even working? How many times do we have to do it? Do we have to win consecutively? 1-8, 4-7. Your luck seems... unnatural, human. Hey. Quit. Did it work? Journal? Shells gave you his scanning device. Go to Flux in the upper wars and use the gambling machines at least five times. Don't get caught. Well, we definitely use it like five times. Should we try it again? We should probably give it to Doran, huh? Or should we just let him keep cheating? <laughs> Hell with it. You have recorded enough wins on Shell's device. Do you wish to keep playing now? Well, there we go. Where the hell? Oh, there's an exclamation point over here. Doran, oh, you're over here in the back room. Hey, man. Hello again. Can I help you? Give him the tool. Should we give him the tool? Just passing through. Enjoy your time here at Flux. Hell with it. Let's give him the tool. Hello again. It Can is, I help you? It is his establishment getting cheated here. I've got something you might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. Payment. I think that tool should be worth something to you. I suppose it is. Uh, take a few tries of Quasar. On the house. Motherfucker. I should be going. Enjoy your time here at Flux. <laughs> oh, we turned his ass in. Speak to Shell's outside Flux in the upper wards and let him know you gave the scanning device to Doran. We cheated. Actually, I don't even think we cheated. We lost so many fucking rounds there that we probably lost money just to get it done. But anyways, we so-called cheated and then stole his device to Doran or gave it to him. Hey, crime doesn't pay, man. So, did you record five wins with the device yet? Sure did, but I gave it away. Actually, I gave your device to Doran. But that was years of work. What am I going to do now? You are smart. Apply yourself. You're no help at all. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. <laughs> can we still be friends? Ugh. What am I gonna do now? You can do anything! You can be an auctioneer guy. Go be an auctioneer guy. You talk so fast, you'll probably be amazing at it. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the journal. <laughs> oh, shit. You decided to give Shell's scanner to Doran. Shell's was understandably upset, but at least he won't be cheating anymore. He was cheating. Crime doesn't pay, you know? It sure don't, friends. Even though we totally did the same thing. Atticus can be shifty at times, friends. He's like the shifty freaking space cow over here, stealing people's credits. 
used the device, then gave it away. Oh, what a scumbag move. <laughs> I love it. Let's hit up the oh, shops, sure. though. I can return that for you. Oh. Thanks. Hasn't worked well since I bought it. Hey, are you refunding his stuff? Here you go. Your account will be credited. You did. You took his return. Look, I'm telling you, I bought this here. Why won't you return it? I can't take it back unless... I know, I know. Unless I have a proof of purchase. That's just how it works, friends. If you don't have a receipt, you could have stole it. Right? Welcome back, Earth Clan. <laughs> Will you Show me what you've got. All right, what do you got in here, man? You got Armax Arsenal License. Thank you. Doesn't have any more things, which is fine. We could use some more grenade and metagel upgrades, but I'm thinking that we're almost getting to the point where... How much can we carry? We're getting to the point where we... Yes, human. You need something, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, probably you have... Pleased? We probably have the max amount. Geth Armory License? Okay. All right, well... Let's head up the shops over that one place. Do you think Core's Den has anything? I don't think it did when we went in there last. Presidium, we'll go to the Presidium and then the Financial District. There's a shop here. We already hit up CSEC. Dr. Michelle, we didn't hit her shop up. But last time I went to her shop, all she had was medical stuff. I don't think she has much else. But we can still check before we roll out. I'm thinking we go to Anderson. Talk to him. Commander. Show me your items. Oh, this... Alright, what do you got? He's got Ceres Council. Metagel Upgrade 5. And Grenade Upgrade 5. Biotic Amp Unity. Alright, well, let's head over to... Anderson or the Citadel we can do the Citadel Tower because we got to turn that one quest in we also had Zabalata's quest here, too But it's fine if we don't get everything right now because I do intend to come back to the Citadel probably around two more times after Pharaoh's I plan on coming back here and talk to Anderson at some point and then probably before because I can imagine after Ferris we'll be getting towards endgame territory. And definitely before we end the game, I'll probably come back again. Or even after... Yeah, we'll probably definitely come back before we end the game. But there was a gentleman named Gareth here and his brother, remember? We definitely did that a long time ago. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? Willem is dead. I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's... dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. Sorry, friend. You were fooling yourself? This must be hard on you? Yeah, I'm very sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. At least he now knows and he won't be searching for his brother his whole life and he can kind of move on. Look at the journal here. Which one was it? Oh, look, we had this one so long ago. Privateers right here. You have informed Garrett that his brother William is dead. Alright, valuable materials 18 of 20 and 16 of 20. We Oh, we only need one more Turian insignia. Both the dad and this, we need a few more. Signs of battle, we need a few more. Uh, sorry, writings, we need a few more. And we need to go find Zabaleta. Anderson. Then Zabaleta. Then get the hell off this citadel. Go to Pharaoh. So Anderson would be... Let's do Zabaleta first, actually. Where the hell would he be? Where was that upper place at? Where's Access Artis? Has to be. Zabalata. So, oh, it takes us right here. Oh, okay. We'll have to ride the elevator up, which is cool because I wonder if we'll get any more quests. But I'm thinking, I'm feeling pretty content for Pharaoh's friends. I feel like station on Novaria has reportedly been destroyed. The exact cause is currently unknown. 
Given the research conducted on Novaria, many are blaming the destruction on an experiment gone awry. Administrator Anoleus currently faces criminal charges as a result of the disaster, although the nature of the charges remains unclear. Well, you were pretty much spot on. It definitely was a project gone wrong, technically. Right? But Nezia was sent there to get this project back on track. So how are you liking your posting at the academy? It's good. Busy, though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the wards. Yeah, it's the busiest station on the Citadel. You'll never get bored. I guess not, but you could still use a few more men. That's why we brought you here. Sure, but there's still way more complaints than the officers can handle. That's just life near the wards, kid. You'll get used to it. So we got a rookie over here and a veteran. That's great. What's up, Zevaleta? Hey, back again, huh? I don't suppose you got any credits to spare. You did know my mother? Oh, tell me about Mindwar. I spoke to my mother. She told me about what happened on Mindwar. Oh, <sighs> did she? I wonder. People tie like prize hogs, locked in cages, clawing and screaming as they're loaded into cargo pods. And we couldn't reach him. The Batarian defenses had us pinned. Dozens died trying to advance. All we could do was watch as they hauled people away. I've been looking for 13 years for something to make that sight go away. What have you got, huh? You need help. Work with me. You need help. Yeah, man. Head to the Veterans Affairs. They will help. Or at least try to help. I'm not going to give you money to drink yourself to death. You need to stop this. If you don't have a better option, just give me 20 credits. A good bottle of whiskey. Enough to stop the dreams. The Veterans Affairs Office. No one understands why. Yeah, I don't want to say that. I really don't. My mother said to go to the Veterans Affairs Office. You're not the only one who's seen that brand of hell. They can help. The VAO? God! <sighs> All right. If she wants me to go talk to someone, fine, I'll do it. For her. She always stuck up for me. <laughs> she always was naive. All the VAO does is pump you full of chemicals. If she wants to talk, tell her she can reach me through the Citadel VAO. Well, there we go, Zabaleta. I hope you get good, friend. I hope you... Find the person that you are outside of the person that you are right now. Would that be, let's see, where would it be? Zabaleta, where are you? There it is. You convince Zabaleta to seek help at the Veterans Affairs office. Complete. All right. Well, straight, easy, and to the point. What goes where? That goes there. Let's head back up this way. We head down to Den, oh. Shift. Sounds good. Some of the others are going for Novio's farewell thing. Damn, I forgot that was today. Where's he going again? Novaria. Apparently, they've got a huge demand for corporate security. Novaria? Isn't that the frozen planet? Yeah, ugh, I wouldn't go, but I guess the pay's pretty good. Huh. You probably don't really want to go. They need more security because we wiped out half the damn security there. All right, let's head Alliance up and then... officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. Well, that's good. Maybe he's at the VAO as well. Probably not. On his case, might be... Well, Zabaleta's was pretty bad, too. But I think Major Kyle went to the next level, huh? A lot of PTSD going on here with these soldiers. Alright, we'll head to Presidium. Financial embassies? Sure. You think we should go back to the consort? Anderson has to have something. If he doesn't have any son anything, then so be it. But last time we came here, it was just on Liara's mission and he had something to say. So, I mean, it's worth trying. There's Odina, look at him, ultimate scumbag. Your Onoveria report raised a few eyebrows in the council, Shepard. I can't believe you let that queen live. There's a reason their species was nearly wiped out. You should have finished them off. 
It was my decision, yeah, Odina. You weren't there, man. You weren't there, Ambassador. It was my call. I did the right thing. Really? I'm glad you're an expert in a species we know virtually nothing about. I hope we're both still around in 50 years to see if you're right. Genocide of an entire species is a terrible tragedy, Ambassador. Shepard did the right thing. Fine. I'll just tell everyone we figured it was a good idea to release a fertile Rachni queen in the wilds of Novaria. I'm sure nobody will have a problem with that. <laughs> what the fuck, Anderson? Yes, Commander. Eros Kahoku? Where can I find Admiral Kahoku? <laughs> Last I heard, he was up in the tower trying to get the Council to investigate Bane's death. Is there anything else, Commander? He's I dead. Go. I'll be here if you need anything. He's dead and done. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Let's head to this Pharaoh's place. Let's get it going. The Pharaoh's place is something to do with... It was a Prothean world, correct? The world that lived on a skyscraper. Should we go back up the... Let's go back up the elevator. We'll go up the elevator here, and then one more time we'll get two more things. Maybe we'll get some more stuff to pro to possibly pick up quests. Pharaoh's friends, I'm ready for another main In mission. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Well, good on you. Did you hear that shit, Ash? Oh, I thought this was the lady. I thought this was her again. The... What was her name? Al Jalani, lady? Is that it? Did we do everything? I'm pretty sure we probably did. Exogeny Corp recently released an official statement regarding their missing survey team in the Hades Gamma Cluster. According to the statement, the remains of the survey team were discovered not far from their abandoned research camp. There were no survivors. It is believed the researchers were the victims of a random attack by raiders or mercenaries. Names will be released after next of kin are notified. That definitely wasn't it. They keep hiding everything. It's like they're covering every single thing up here. They're covering everything up. They don't want to cause panic, but why cover every little thing up possible? I guess, well, obviously I just answered my own question. They don't want to cause panic with the Geth, because the Geth was definitely there. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Eros, let's do it. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Who are we gonna bring the Pharaohs? We gotta bring somebody we didn't bring in a while. I'm thinking this mission in general. Message Let's coming go. in. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that, but you handled it pretty well. Unlike her, she didn't listen though. I did the best I could. I would think that we did the best we could, though it wasn't, it probably wasn't a terrible story, though. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Take it easy. Thanks, man. All right, Pharos, it is. I feel like we have to do more stuff. I just don't know. Like, are we... Should we wait on these? I mean, we can explore some of these. Let's just wait, because we might get more missions in Pharos. Hercules system. What? Look at this beautiful green. Oh my word. Thesis. Thesis? See you later, Citadel. I'm sure we will see you five to six more times before we end it. There wasn't much. We didn't see anything pop up new besides the shells thing. <laughs> what if we did the right thing with that, friends? Atticus is very shifty, I'm telling you. We did the one uh, with the Hanor. We took the Hanor's goods and then sold it to Inamorta. We took that guy's goods and then gave it to Doran. Sida? Is that how you say it? Sida? Sure. Why not? Sida is shrouded by a high-pressure atmosphere composed of carbon dioxide and sulfuric acids. 
The surface is composed of geologically young plains of volcanic basalts and rhyolite. With high concentration of carbon and radioactives, Sida is rapidly volcanic. A dozen super volcanoes, 50 to 120 kilometers wide, are erupting across the planet. Sida's carbon content and consistent volcanism make natural diamonds plentiful if extremely costly and dangerous to recover. Well, I can only imagine there's so many volcanoes on this planet. You're like dodging them like you're trying to dodge gnats and shit. Logan. Logan is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant. The survey team who charted the system 20 years ago reported many strange disturbances in Logan's cloud bands, suggesting many remarkably large solid objects were present beneath the cloud tops. As the ship approached, however, they subsided one by one. These disturbances have not been reported again. Wow, something mysterious is on that planet. Or was. Quana? Oh, we got a survey. Quana frozen surface is rich with heavy metals, and the planet's higher than average density suggests further mineral richness in the depths. The atmosphere is composed of nitrogen and carbon monoxide. The remains of a well developed protheum mining infrastructure dot the planet. Abandoned mines are connected to dead cities by collapsed maglev lines. Unlike the crumbling skyscrapers of Pharaohs, Kwana's ruins are remarkably intact. Unfortunately, this only made it easier for looters to strip the silent necropoli of anything valuable. So this is this place is in better shape than Pharaohs. Why can't we go here? There's nothing here though. Light metal. We need light and heavy, right? Light Metal Surveyed, scans of the planet Quana have revealed deposits of cobalt. There we go, that's another lighty. We have done this one. Sharing. Sharing is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant. The atmosphere contains traces of pneumonia, methane, and surprisingly large amounts of water vapor, making the atmosphere a striking mix of browns, blues, and whites. Of sharing 60 odd moons, two have diameters of over 3,000 kilometers. Both have signs of former protein development, suggesting sharing may have been mined for helium 3. There's so much protein stuff in this system here. Protein data disk recovered. The planet sharing displayed some strange readings while being scanned. Chief Engineer Adams pinpointed the source and located a strange object. Talion Adams brought it on board and spent hours taking it apart. The purpose of the object is still uncertain, but it was Prothean in nature and contained a Prothean data disk inside. Well, there we go. How about we go to Pharos? The Exogeny Corporation has founded a pilot colony on Pharos to explore the Prothean ruins that blanket two thirds of the planet's land mass. The atmosphere is fouled with dust. Terrestrial travel is hampered by crumbled debris dozens of meters deep. There are indications that Pharos was a much colder world in the past. Pharos has two large moons, Orkin the Father and Vardat. Let's go. Who are we going to bring here? I'm thinking for the first bit. I'm thinking at first we bring... Wow, look at these like skyscraper buildings. Joker and Fams here. Oh. Okay. Well, come on. I'm feeling like we should bring... Who haven't we brought in a while? I feel like we haven't brought Garrus in a while. But... If this is anything like Novaria, we switched the party up quite a bit in Novaria. So, let's start off by taking... Tally for sure, since we haven't taken Tally in a good while. I feel like I want to end this quest with, if there is a point of ending like Novaria, how we took uh, Liara and Tally. Did I take Tally on Novaria? I think I did take Tally on Novaria, actually. So we've taken Tally on every main mission, actually. Kinda. Liara? It's Prothean stuff here, so Tally and Liara? I don't know. 
Yeah, Tally and Leora. Let's do Tally and Leora. That seems like a good crew. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Take it easy, Presley. Don't let the ship burn down, sir. Oh, this planet is dark. So far. I mean, look at it. Maybe it's just this area. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. He can wait. I've got business of my own to tend to. The Geth wait for no one. They're preparing another attack. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Holy oh, shit! Motherfucker! Oh, Get him! Pull him all! Get him, Tally! Charging up! Charging right up, Liara. You hit him with overload, Tally. You hit him with sabotage. Alright, I need some sniper loves going on here. We already get up off me. A little bit. See ya. Oh. Time to get sniped. We just definitely missed. Leora, singularity. Tally hit him with an overload. We got him. Just floating. Oh, we missed. Not that time. Good fucking riddance. Get out of cover. Oh, that's a sniper. Maybe we should stay in cover. Is he in the wall? Are you in the wall, sir? <laughs> Getting no scoping. Alright, let's go back to pistol. Just in case. The Geth are here strong. As soon as we get here, we're in a firefight. This is what I'm talking about. We got the jumpies. What the hell is that one? Is that one organic? Has to be. Is that a sniper? No. Alright. Let's pull this one. Liara, you lift this one. Tally, go ahead and sabotage. Easy peasy. They look like they're organic. All clear. Are they a mixture between organic and synthetic going on there? Man, this place is dark. I could use a torch, huh? You think they even got torches? Head to the tunnels. Make sure they're secure. But what if I find Geth there? Are you saying you won't go? No, uh, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Glad to see some soldiers. On get ready. We get weaker with every attack. The Geth just keep coming. They just keep coming, huh? Greta Reynolds. Oh, you got a name. Geth are bloody dangerous. They are pretty dangerous. I have a credit for every Geth I killed. You didn't I say have it. I credit for every Geth I've killed. Keep alert. They'll be here any minute. All right. Oh, we got a bunch of people with names here. Die of thirst, the Geth will surely kill us all. Nothing. How is a woman supposed to think with guns going off all around? Sorry. I'll use my fist, I guess. Ledger. The Geth will kill us all. Predator controls active. The Geth can't be allowed into the heart of the car. This work must be completed. They'll, they'll be here any minute. All right, where does it have us going here? We're here. Zoo's hope. Here. Can we go through? Can we go through this area? Oh, it looks like we can. Hey, man! The Geth are mounting another attack. Nothing. The Geth are mounting another attack already? We just wiped half of them out, probably. It was a shit ton of them. There, there, dear. You'll get through this. Just relax. My headaches are getting better. I just have to stop thinking about the past. You all right? The Geth just keep coming. All right, all right. Public extranet. What the hell did that give us? 
Just a codex? We'll get to it, I'm sure. I'm thinking most of the stuff that we actually get anymore is all side uh, type of stuff. Oh, here we go. Oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! We've got Geth in the tower! Bring Protect it on. the heart of the colony! Got a singularity with their names on it. Get up! Oh, we are overloaded. Get out of here. Oh, no. Leora. Thank you. Fucking wrecking, friends. This thing is fucking overloading like crazy. Let's keep our snipes out. I don't think we uh, pulled anybody there. All right, lay all right. Go ahead and set them down or lift them. Tally. I'm gonna need you. Actually, let's put them on our team. Get him! Whoop his ass! I got him, don't worry. Right in the light bulb, Tally. Did you see that? Poke your head out. You know you want to. What's that little puny thing gonna do? Look at him. <laughs> no, that how did he even survive that? It's the last of them. Elevator presently out of service. Well we have some stuff up here. Where the fuck's our barrier? Why did that go there? I wonder why I'm pressing the barrier button. I'm like, why am I stasising? Am I fat fingering it? Wait. I see stuff on the map back here. Oh, it's this way. What's up, Geth? Alright, we're gonna have Leora Singularity. Tally hit him with Overload. Good written, sucker. Oh no. We got a sniper. Leora, can you... See, you're not gonna be able to pull him because... Damn. Maybe I can. Good riddance. He was hanging off the roof. Fucking headshot, baby. Get out of here. Done and done. Get off. Oh, they're... What the hell? They're just dropping from the sky. Leora Pool, let's get our pistol out. It's getting... It's getting dicey. Tally, get this one on our side. Tally's hacking is so freaking good. It was such a good choice bringing her here. I love it. Get over there. Oh, we hacked this destroyer. Stasis. Is hitting the fan. This place is great so far. Now we can update Fidan and get a vehicle safely out of the Normandy. The Geth base is our next objective. There we go, Liara. You are on point. Geth attack. The Geth have attacked the world of Pharos. Your primary objective is to go to Zeus Hope Colony to investigate what Saren is after and why he sent his Geth troops to the planet. Alright, so basically, let's see, because we didn't read the beginning. Investigate first to see why the colony was attacked by Geth. 
Fidan, the leader of the colonists, may have the information you need. Go up the stairs through the down freighter to speak with him. Stop the Geth in the tower. The Geth have taken control of the tower. Go up the stairs and make your way to the tower to stop their advance and inform Fidang. Fidang? Fidang? Tell Fidang, we're gonna put a G there, that the Geth have been cleared from the tower. All right, well, basically, they're... The whole gist of them being here is that investigate we were coming here to investigate geth activity on pharos from when we read that a way long time ago but we read that and we were told that this place was an old Prothean ruin so i wonder what they're after here maybe another beacon probably that seems the more logical thing why the Geth are actually here. So we gotta go back to Fidan. 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 Let's call him Fidan. He's gonna have so many different names every time we call him something. Fidang. Wait. Is it this way? How the hell do we get to you, Fidan? Oh, it's this way. Where? What goes down, though? Let's just go back to him first. We'll go back to him first, talk, and see what the hell's going on. And then if something leads us anywhere else, then that's where we'll go. Bye, Dan. We cleared it for you, sir. The tower's secure. Thanks to you, Commander. Didn't do it for you, you son of a gun. Sure did, though. Have you helped? I'm just glad your colony is safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Well, if they come back, we'll just whoop them up, just like the other Help ones. Help me find what the Geth are after, and you'll all get out of here alive. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. Where is it located in Exogeny? What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. Well, that's a good thing. We need to thin their numbers. Every Geth I kill brings me one step closer to Saren. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. All right, well, Geth base... Oh, he's got a good deal of stuff here. What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. Good. Like I said, like Shepard has said, the more Geth we kill, the closer we are to Saren. That's the damn truth. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. Oh. Water shortage? Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. We've seen that person on the way in. We've seen a few other named people, so I get it now. We're probably going to be sent to them named people, and they're going to send us all somewhere else. What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it than I do. Food shortage? You mentioned something about a food shortage. Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. If you can assist, please speak with him. All right, death. Death in the tunnels, yeah. Lots of death and geth in the tunnels. Do you have information about geth in the lower tunnels? Nothing new. They're in the tunnel somewhere, likely guarding a transmitter to coordinate attacks. It's not a critical threat right now, but getting rid of that transmitter will help us defend against further attacks. Okay. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. The colony? Sure. Tell me about your colony. Life is hard and often brutal even without our current problems. Colonial Affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place, unlike anything I've experienced before. I could evacuate you? How many people lived here? How big was the original Pharaoh's colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site, 200 more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zeus Hope. Hey, we could evacuate you if you need. The Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous, and I won't be driven off this world. 
It is our home. There's a chance for growth here that's simply not available on other worlds. I guess I understand that. If you, if this is your home, maybe he, do you think he grew up here? Possibly? If you grew up here, this is your home, and no matter what you do, you'd always want to be in your home. I guess I really understand that. I wouldn't want to leave my home if I know nothing but this as my home. Exogeny. That being said, like, it's okay to move on and start new things, definitely. But if this was my home and the Geth were here in numbers like this, there's no way I would just leave. I'd want to fight them to the death if I had to. What else can you tell me about Exogeny? Exogeny funded this colony. Without them, we wouldn't be stuck here. They specialize in colonization. In return for bankrolling the colony, we work for them. Their main goal is the retrieval of valuable artifacts or resources. Except there isn't anything here. Or if there is, we didn't find it. Artifacts? Well, there's something valuable definitely going on here. They're here for something. They wouldn't be here for nothing else, so... I wonder if that's what the Geth are looking for. Perhaps. As she said, we never found anything of value. Of course, the Geth could know something we don't. There's gotta be something here, and he probably knows what he's not saying. But I guess I understand. It is his home. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. Take it easy, Fidan. It's been a pleasure, good man. Let's read this so it stops blinking. We only need one more light metal, so we are getting it, friends. We are getting it. Get in the tunnels. Hunt in the tunnels beneath Zeus' hope for remaining Geth forces and their transmitter. You cleared the Geth from the tower, but there are still Geth in the tunnels. Finding and destroying the Geth transmitter will give Zeus' hope a better chance of survival. Okay. Well, we're gonna do what we can for these people. I'm grateful for what you've done, but your heroics don't impress me, Commander. What? Are you serious? Why not? Personal question? Tell me more about yourself, Arcelia. I'm a rent-a-cop. I was hired to keep kids from writing graffiti on the walls at Exogeny. Then all this happened. I wasn't trained for this. I didn't ask for it. I just wanted to end. I get it. I definitely get it. What can you tell me about the Geth? Do you have any idea what they might be after? I can't tell you anything about that. I suggest you go to Exogeny if you want answers to those questions. Okay. I get the feeling you don't like me. How would you feel if you were hung out to dry by every government organization that ever promised to keep you safe? They should have sent a small fleet. Instead, we get one ship. And you're only interested in the Geth. If we weren't interested in helping you people, I wouldn't even be talking to your ass. So yeah, we're interested in helping you, but we are interested in taking the Geth out. That is simultaneously helping the colony, yeah? Right? Sure. Reason for anger? Tell me about Zeus Hope. I can't tell you much about it. You should speak to Fidan if you want to know more. Well, fucker, we just spoke to Fidan, and he didn't tell us that much. What can you tell me about Exogeny? Very little. I work there as a security officer. I know they were looking for artifacts and anything of value. That's what they do. They fund the colony. In return, we help them uncover buried treasure. It's definitely not as exciting as they make it sound. Is that it? Yeah. Toodles. Goodbye. Commander. Have a good day, madam. See you next time. All right, well, wait, there's a quest here now. Or is it going away? It pops up. Okay. Interesting. All right, well, shall we just go talk to... Let's see if we can talk to more of these people now. The people with the names. Hello, Offworlder. I'm glad that we aren't totally forgotten by the rest of the galaxy. Dear, please try to rest. You're, you're not ready to speak. But they should know... Uh... I mean, they are very important. Yes. That's better. I hope you're not contagious. What's wrong? Hope you're not contagious. Let's... Should we say that? No. What's wrong? Is there anything I can do for you? I'm fine. I just need to try to think clearly. It's just a lingering pain from... From the last attack. I'll be fine. What? I see no major injury, but something must be causing her pain. 
please just let her rest. She just needs rest. What was she trying to tell me, sir? You'll have to forgive my wife. Kalantha's not in her right mind. She just needs to relax and accept what's happened. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to talk to everybody then. We're gonna look for all the people with names and then talk them up. What do you do for the colony? I'm a medic. Or I am since the doctor died. I've tried my best since she was killed. Oh, we do the medic here. It's a trend on every main mission. The real doctor is always dead. And there was somebody else that steps up. Are you a vet? A veterinarian? Is that what's going on here? Oh, he said he's a medic. There you go. Maybe he was just under the main doctor. Do you know anything about this planet? Just what I was told by Colonial Affairs. It's a little different from what they claimed. It's not all bad, though. When the Geth are gone, we'll have a chance to create something even more spectacular than before. Well, there you go. I mean, this colony may have potential, though it looks pretty dead. What happened to your wife? The constant attacks have strained us all. She'll adapt. We all have. Is there anything I can do for her? No, she just needs time. Time to absorb everything. We'll be fine. Tell me about the colony. I can't tell you much about that. You'd best ask Fidan if you really must know. Motherfucker, I just asked Fidan. Why can't you tell me? I just want to know about the colony. Fidan is our leader. Who better to answer questions about the colony? What's up with the Fidan? I have to go. Please do what you can to stop the attacks. Anything for you, sir. We'll wipe out the Geth. Is this drinks up here? What is this? Maybe not drinks, it's probably not a bar. Maybe it's probably medical stuff, huh? Speak to Fidan, friends. Why does everybody have us go speak to Fidan? Oh, there's something. Oh, that's outside, okay. It's getting the people through the... Man, this terrain here is rough. It's like Shepard is bouncing off of it. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Oh, this is the gentleman with food. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. You gonna get some Varen meat? Oh, Varens are pretty rough, though. Yeah, we can, we can fly stuff in. I have a ship. I could bring in supplies from off-world. I'd rather you concentrated on the Geth. Food won't help us if they breach our defenses. Okay, so you want me to kill the Geth or you want me to get food? What do you want here? Colony? Tell me about Zoo's hope. The colony is growing. Or it was. But you should speak with Fi Dan. He is our leader. Speak with Fi Dan? Why? Friends, should we speak with Fi Dan? I think we should. Why should I speak to Fi Dan? Why can't you tell me? I don't want to talk about that right now. Yeah. Speak with Fi Dan. You're gonna tell me what's going on here. And I'm not speaking to Fi Dam Dan. Fi Dam. I'm not speaking to Fi... Fine John Van Dam. Whatever the hell his name is. Colony? Personal questions? Tell or? me about yourself. What's to tell? I came here with my wife Greta, looking for adventure. A new life together. This isn't exactly what we signed up for. Of course, it would be much better without the Geth. We were really starting to enjoy the colony before they came. Well, it seems like a decent colony, and you guys do seem to really like this place. Hunting Varen. Tell me about hunting Varen. Hunting them is impossible while fending off the Geth. On the positive side, they'll attack anything, even those damn synthetics. The big Alpha Varen is the real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely unpredictable. Well, he doesn't want flies. Flies. He doesn't want flies for food. He doesn't want us to fly supplies in, I have so. to go. So long, Commander. All right, well, what else did we have? Let's look at the journal here. Get in the tunnels. We have veteran meat. Davin Reynolds wants to solve the colony's food shortage by supplementing rations with veteran meat. However, he cannot hunt safely until you remove the dangerous Alpha Varen. Find and kill the Alpha Varen in the tunnels beneath Zoo's Hope. Sure. Why not? Ledra. Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you, if you wish. Oh, here we go! What can you tell me about Zoo's Hope? A fascinating place, by all accounts. Though the Geth have made it treacherous. You might like it here too, if you gave it a chance, Commander. I never thought I'd stay in one place for long, but here? I will stay here. 
What the hell is going on here? Everyone seems a bit off, do they not? Why? This place is pretty dead. It's like a dying planet here. This place is barely holding together. Why stay here? I can't give you an answer to that, Commander. At least not one that you would comprehend. Why not try asking Phi Dan? Maybe he can tell you what I can't. Listen, we're not asking Phi Van Dam about this damn planet because he ain't telling us anymore. Stock? How do you keep things in stock in conditions like this? My list of consumers has shrunk significantly since the attacks, and few of those have time for shopping. Colony stock, personal question. What's a Solarian doing on a human colony? This Solarian goes where the credits are. Or I did. A well-stocked freighter can be a profitable investment on a new colony. But once I was here, I decided to stay on. The colony life grows on you after a while. All right. What's your name, Solarian? My full name is Gorot II Heranon Maldinest Gott Inost Ledra. Humans usually employ surname and given name only. Inost and Ledra, in my case. Long enough? That's a good name, man. It sure the hell is. What do you have for sale? Why is your name so long? We are named for our origins. Gorot II is my homeworld. Heranon, my clan's country. Maldinest and Gott are the city and district where I live. All right, well, let me see what you have. Of course. I may be able to provide a few interesting items. What do you got going on? Always oh, got Haliot Armory license. Let's go ahead and take that. Nothing else, though. All right, well, let's keep on looking for people. There was somebody over here, Freighter Current Controls, and Anna Murakami. Shit, don't put you. How do you put that away? You're the commander of the ship that just landed. We sure are. Colony? What do you know about the colony? We just arrived a short time ago. It seemed like any other colony at first, but it's different somehow. What do you mean? It, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like... I, I can't describe it. I, you should speak with Phi Dan. He, he knows the colony better than me. Friends, I'm getting the feeling we really need to speak to Phi Dan. I don't think we spoke to Phi Dan yet. So we should probably speak to him. What do you do here? I'm just watching over the ship, making sure she doesn't get any worse. <laughs> if nothing else, she's good for hiding in when those geth come over the walls. It looks like you're monitoring something. No, well, just ship diagnostics. It's nothing. I, I should get back to it, but if I down, what's the report on... I should go. Ship's owner? Are you the captain of this freighter? Not originally. The captain died in one of the Geth raids. I'm the last crew member. We shouldn't even be here. The Solarian merchant promised us a fortune. I wish... I suppose it could be worse. Can you fly it? I think we missed dialogue in the last thing. We'll have to investigate it again, maybe get it again. What's wrong with the ship? Isn't she spaceworthy? There's too much damage. Maybe if the Geth stopped attacking, I could fix her. Then again, if there were no Geth, I might just stay on a while. I'm gonna be honest with you, the best advice I can give you with that ship, you should probably go talk to Phi Dan and see if he knows about fixing that ship, because obviously he knows about everything. What do you do here? I'm just watching over the ship, making sure she doesn't get any worse. <laughs> if nothing else, she's good for hiding in when those Geth come over the walls. Yeah, here, so we said, what are you doing? But there was like something over here, was it not? It looks like you're monitoring something. No, well... Just ship diagnostics. It's nothing. I I should get back to it. But Phi Dan, what's the report on? I should go. Maybe I can help you. What are you trying to diagnose? No, thanks, really. Now, please, I, I need to get back to work. All right, well, Phi Dan can help. Let me press the buttons. This work must be completed. Well, let me press one. This work must be completed. All right, all right. Was there anyone over here? We have a few guards. They'll try to rebuild the command post soon enough. Davin does what he can, but our food will run out sooner or later. We'll get you food, don't you worry. Can you even eat Varen meat? I guess you can. It's probably delicious, I guess, huh? Alright, well, we'll talk to the rest of the people here, and then we'll head out, and we'll start our trek fully. We got Greta, Maka, May. What's this one over here? Oh, you're a dead colonist? Shit. Nice work with those geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Normandy's power cells? Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. 
Your top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. The cells just aren't compatible. All right. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. That was it then. All right. Unless you've got something important, shoot. I'm trying to jury rig something to replace the missing power cells. All right, we'll take it if easy. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. Anything for you, ma'am. I'm sorry, but I can't stop to talk. I have to deal with the water shortage. Is there anything I can do? The utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. We could fly water in, sure. I have a ship fueled and ready to go. I could bring water in. Unless you plan to make a trip every few days, that wouldn't really solve our problem. We need to be self-sufficient. Why don't you do it yourself? You know where to find the problem with the water. The colony can't afford to lose any more of us. We're just too vulnerable. You think of nothing else? You're very focused on the water, despite the constant attacks. I... Uh, I can't think of anything else. So much has happened, but... but it hurts. If I stay focused on this task, the pain goes away. An understandable reaction, though her discomfort seems almost palpable. You get the feeling that possibly these people are brainwashed in a way? Because that's kind of what's going on here. Maybe Saren and his ship is here in some way. And the shriek of the dam when the ship came down, remember, is actually affecting these people. Is that what's going on? Because that's exactly what feels like is going on here. Tell me about the colony. We are a small group, part of a larger colony, before the Geth attacked. You should speak to Fidan. It's his responsibility. He knows oh, the Oh, you. Best. Should we go speak to Fidan? Oh, of course we should. Why wouldn't we have to go speak to Fidan? What do you know about this planet? I am not the one to ask about that. Ask Fidan or one of the others. We're gonna go ask Fidan, okay? Personal question. Tell me about sure. yourself. I'd rather not. This is not the time or the place. Please, help us or don't. Otherwise, should I, me to my work. Should we go ask Fidan about her personal questions? I have to go. I wish you luck. Don't be so rude. We're here to help. The Geth have destroyed our home. Well, at least the Geth can't regroup at the command. I want to help, but this is all I can do. I have to stay here no matter what. These people are like brainwashed or something. Something's going on here, man. Fidan, are you brainwashing these people? To have everyone speak to you? If they... Literally. They must ask Fidan everything, friends. Maka Doyle over there has got to go take a number two. And she can't do it until she goes and asks Fidan for a goddamn hall pass. Or something. Come here, Fidan. These people are weird. Commander? A <laughs> strange behavior? Work. Yeah, we got some. Some of the colonists are acting strange. We're a close-knit group, Commander. Most of us have lost loved ones, friends. These aren't trained soldiers. Nobody taught us how to deal with the horrors of war. This is our home. We've watched the Geth slowly destroy everything that is important to us. Don't judge us too harshly. We're not judging, but can you tell me anything else? Tell me more. Tell me about your colony. Life is hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. Colonial Affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place. Unlike anything I've experienced before. Something's going on here. Something's causing these people to act tranquil, as he keeps saying. Or... It's like the lady said she couldn't think of anything else but the water, and then the other lady that's out there holding the gun says she can't think of anything else but the security. It's like everyone has a specific job that they can't do anything else but that specific job. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. What the hell's going on here, man? I'm grateful for what you've done, but your heroics don't impress me, Commander. Hey, man. Should we start the fight, Dan? Goodbye. Commander. All right, well, let's look at the journal at these other quests here. We got Ferris Power Cells. May O'Connell has asked you to find replacement power cells in the ruins of Zeus Hope in order to restore power to the colony. Search the tunnels beneath Zeus Hope to find the missing power cells beneath. How are we gonna get beneath Zeus Hope? 
Makadoya has asked you to find and activate water valves in the tunnels beneath Zeus Hope to restore water to the colony. Search through the tunnels beneath Zeus Hope to find the water valves. The only thing I can think of is we go back over here and there were stairs over there. But we're gonna do that next episode. We'll do that trek next episode, but I want to... Let's look at some more codexes here. Oh, we leveled up, Ashley. Alright, so Atticus, what can we give you? Let's do more in pistols. Two more in pistols, sure. And then Atticus is good. Liara. Oh, no! Atticus can do unlimited charm. There we go, friends. Look at our charm! We are looking good, man. We are nearly maxed out on charm, but we are maxed out on charm here. So cool. Intimidate. I would love to get Intimidate maxed out. This makes me wonder, though, how this actually works. We just upped to set charm score at 12. Our charm is at 12 now. If we do something that requires, let's say, the highest charm in the game, I don't know. Will it go off of this being maxed out? Or will it go off of this? Because to me, the way I'm thinking about this, if we max this out right here, we are completely probably stack out and we can we can probably charm everyone in the game. No matter what happens with this meter. That's the way I'm thinking is gonna happen here. But it could we possibly could max this out, but also need to get this higher to actively still charm everybody in the game. I would love to get Intimidate up here more, but I don't think we are. I don't think we can, unless we really go full force Renegade. But it's something to consider, and I won't go outside of my RP to just scum Renegade to get it up higher. But that's really cool, friends. Wow, I'm so happy we're up to 12 now. Opens up new dialogue options, and then it gives it 8% discount at stores. Wow, there we go. All right, well, what were we trying to do? We were trying to do lift. So we'll put one more marksman and we'll try to get master marksman and Liara. All right, there was something brought up with Liara about a bug. Something with if we give her another ability here, possibly stasis, electronics will get bugged or something. So I'm going to avoid stasis on Liara because we already have electronics here. Because whatever's going on with Liara, there is no bug right now. And I'm feeling like if we actually give her points in a stasis, it'll be bugged. But it doesn't look like her stasis will let us hurt them anyway. So what's the point in giving her and Caden stasis? So we'll do more into... I'm thinking we do more into barrier for now. We'll max out our barrier a little bit more. What's Tally got going on? There we go. Tally can do... Let's see, let's see. Tally, you're pretty good, actually. Let's just keep working on her dampening. Increases the radius and strength of dampening. What does this do? Does 100 damage in a 10 meter radius. Enemies cannot use biotic and tech abilities for a short period of time. Tally, you are fucking awesome. It's so hard to, like, pick the most powerful companion. But if you really want my opinion, I think it's a mixture of Liara, Tally, and then probably Kaden. Kaden is really fucking powerful. He can single target lock down anything in the game, I feel. But Tally is super powerful. Okay, let's say. I think Liara and Kaden are the most powerful companions. But when it comes to AIs, Tally shreds. Choose the most powerful for AIs. It would be, let's do it like this. Liara and Caden for any organic type stuff. Tally and Garrus for synthetics. And then Rex and Ash. Well, here it is there to suck up bullets. Yeah, bullet sponges. All right, let's see. We got some. Oh, we got some more in primary here. Non sapient. After the guests, Thresher Maws are subterranean. We already got Huss. It's Varen. Varen are omnivores with a preference for living prey. Originally native to the Krogan home world of Tuchanka, they are, like most life from Tuchanka, savage, clannish, and consummate survivors. They are pack hunters when vulnerable prey is readily available, and become scavengers when outnumbered or outclassed. 
Their supreme adaptability, vicious demeanor, and rapid breeding cycle have made them ubiquitous and dangerous pests on many worlds. Virtually everywhere the Krogan have been, Varan infestations have followed, wreaking havoc with the native ecology. The Krogan have had a love-hate relationship with Varan for millennia, alternately fighting them for territory and embracing them as treasured companions. To this day, Krogan raise them as beasts of war. One of the common subgenus of Varan has metallic silver scales, leading to the rather unusual nickname, fish dogs. Fish dogs? So, okay. Varen are like what space dogs here? Is that what's going on? They're either space dogs or space wolves. Was that it over here? It sure was. Let's go back to secondary. Personal history is good. Alliance Council races. We have Turian military doctrine. Although they lack brutality of the Krogan, the skill of the Asari, and the virtuosity of the humans, the Turian military has formidable discipline. Officers and NCOs are lifers. With years of field experience, enlisted personnel are thoroughly trained and stay calm under fire. Turian units don't break even if their entire line collapses. They fall back in order, setting ambushes as they go. A popular saying holds, you will only see a Turian's back once he's dead. Wow. Who camp begins on the 15th birthday? Soldiers receive a year of training before being assigned to a field unit. Officers train for even longer, most severe, until the age of 30, at which point they become part of the reserves. Even if they suffer injuries preventing frontline service, most do work behind the lines. Biotics are uncommon while admired for their exacting skills. Biotics motives are not always fully trusted by the common soldier. The Torians prefer to assign their biotics to a specialist teams called cabals. So they don't really cherish biotics that much, but they do respect them. Interesting. Command and control is desensitized and flexible. Individual squads can call for artillery and air support. They make extensive use of combat drones for light duties and practice combined arms. Infantry operatives with armor supported by overhead gunships. Strategically, they are methodological and patient and dislike risky operations. Tradition is important. Each legion has a full-time staff of historians who chronicle its battle honors in detail. The oldest have records dating back to the Turian Iron Age. If a legion is destroyed in battle, it is reconstituted rather than replaced. The Turians recruit auxiliary units from conquered or absorbed minor races. Auxiliaries are generally light infantry or armored cavalry units that screen and support the main Turian formations. At the conclusion of their service in the auxiliaries, recruits are granted Turian citizenship. Well, there you go. That's really cool. Turian's fucking awesome. And then we have Turian religion. Wow. Although Turians have a strict moral code, their belief in individual responsibility means that Concepts of good and evil are simply the individual's choice between egotism and altruism. In any given decision, they have no concept of good deities that encourage noble behavior or evil ones that tempt individuals to misdeeds. Turians believe that groups and areas have spirits that transcend the individual. For example, a military unit would be considered to have a literal spirit that embodies the honor and courage it is displayed. A city spirit reflects the accomplishments and industry of its residents. An ancient tree spirit reflects the beauty and tranquility of the area it grows within. The spirits are neither good nor evil, nor are they appealed to for intercession. Turians do not believe spirits can affect the world, but spirits can inspire the living. Prayers and rituals allow the individual to converse with a spirit for guidance or inspiration. For example, a Turian who finds his loyalty tested may appeal to the spirit of his unit, hoping to connect with the pride and honor of the group. A Turian who wishes to create a work of art may attempt to connect with the spirit of a beautiful location. Are they really talking to spirits like some kind of augury or something? Or is just this... Is it just in spirit? You know what I mean? You have a faith in the spirit of the unit, but it's not really a spirit that you're 
that you can see? Or is it a spirit that you can see because of your faith, I wonder? Or if it's just spirit spirit? Like you believe in the spirit, like the higher purpose of the... Like the spirit of the company or the... It just makes me really wonder if it actually is some kind of spirit or if it just is in theory a spirit like they believe in the spirit of the purpose does that make sense probably not turians enjoy absolute freedom of religion and can practice whatever appeals to them so long as it does not impede anyone's ability to perform their duties there are many practitioners of the asari siarist philosophy since opening dialogue with the Human Systems Alliance, Centurions have embraced that word in Zen Buddhism. Oh. Turians, the Unication War. Oh, this is the last one here. About the time the Salarians and Asari were forming the Council, the Turians were embroiled in a bitter civil war. The Unification War. As it was later named, began the hostilities between the colonies further from the Turian homeworld, Palavin. These colonies were run by... Local chieftains, many of whom had distanced themselves from the hierarchy. Without the galvanizing influence of the government, the colonies became increasingly isolated and xenophobic. Colonists began wearing emblems or facial markings to differentiate themselves from members of other colonies in open hostilities became canon. I definitely did not say differentiate that word. I don't even think I can say that word. It's that word, sure. When war finally broke out, the hierarchy maintained strict diplomacy and refused to get involved. After several years of fighting, less than a dozen factions remained and the hierarchy finally intervened. By that time, the chieftains were too weak to resist. They were forced to put an end to fighting and renew their allegiance to the hierarchy. Though peace was restored, it took several decades for animosity between colonists to fade completely. To this day, most Turians still wear the facial markings of their home colonies. As a point of interest, the Turian term bareface refers to one who is beguiling or not to be trusted. It is also a slang term for politicians. Well, there we go. That's really interesting. Wow. Really, really cool. I'm really digging the Turians. When we get back, we'll obviously... Well, we're done with council races finally. Wow, really? Was that it? A little bit on Asari? Well, actually, we got everything. A little bit on the Asari, the Salarians, and the Turians then. Sure. Next will be extinct races. And we will go from there. So when we get back, we will head into the tunnels here. Take out the gas through the water supply, the food supply, the power supplies, and then take it from there. We also probably will need to talk to Fi Dan again. I'm just, I'm just going to say it. We should probably talk to Fi Dan again. Anyways, I'm out of here. Take it easy. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.